Hey guys, welcome back to another video on JFit TV. This is very, this is um, very like spur of the moment because I forgot that I wanted to do a video based off of Sheen clothing, like Sheen activewear, um, because the, it can be a very hit or miss thing with them. But recently, the clothing that I've been getting have been like pretty good material. So, and it's been a long time since I've ordered from them. Um, and I remember I bought a pair of pants that were kind of crappy. Um, sorry, I wobbled. My bad. Um, I ordered a pair of pants before and they were kind of, they were like icky. Like they weren't good quality at all. They were like swimsuit material. It was not cool. So I decided to branch out and try again with them because I've seen a lot of people been ordering them and they haven't been so disappointed. So I'm like, maybe they have upgraded some of their stuff. And they have. Um, so I ordered a three pack of these sports bras. I will link them in the description below. Um, and they come in black, this burnt orange color, and then a gray color. And it said one size. And I don't really have a big chest. Like, I don't, I missed the boob gene in the family. I don't know what happened. Um, so I'm pretty narrow. Um, I wear a size medium in like Gymshark and, um, is that the only brand that I have? And like the Amazon brands, like I'll link some of my favorite sports bras in the um, description. Most of my workout clothes are coming from like Ross, TJ Maxx, like um, Depop off of Gymshark. Like if I just see something cute, I buy it. I don't, I'm not really looking at anything else. Um, I really had been wanting to try Gymshark, but I didn't want to pay full price for Gymshark. So I went on Depop and that's how I have some of the item, the Gymshark items that I do have. Um, and I wear a size medium in Gymshark 2 and in the leggings. So, and these sports bras being one size, they look tiny, but they're very stretchy material. Now, if you wear an extra large or uh, maybe even, I feel like if you got a large even, it may fit you. It could maybe, um, but don't expect a lot of support. These are low support sports bras. And because I don't really have a big chest, I don't really, I don't care. It doesn't bother me if it's low support or high support. Um, I pretty can much get by with low support. Um, now, if you obviously have a bigger chest than me, I don't, I'm not sure if how a one size would do. Um, but by all means, try it. What's the worst that happens? It doesn't fit. It's okay. Um, they were like eight bucks, like less than ten dollars. Um, I'll link them in the description because like don't quote me on that. Um, but the quality is really nice. The quality is super nice. So I'm gonna try them on, go through a cardio and ab day with them, and at the end of it, give you a full review. I'll show you the whole fit. Um, and if you guys really like this video, maybe I'll do more. I've been wanting to do like um athletic wear brand reviews um and like why not um like i want to review some of the gymshark clothes i have um i actually want to buy the new collection the whitney simmons collection to test that out too um but i i don't know why i haven't okay but if this video goes well and i enjoy filming it and it's not so boring we'll do it okay here is the gray sports bra um this is a this is one size. Normally I wear a size medium in sports bras, um, and it is pretty comfortable. Um, I do not like how obviously the straps are aren't adjustable whatsoever, um, and so they're a little tight on my neck. But I mean, like maybe wearing them a few times will loosen them up just a little bit. So I'm like, if you catch me doing this a lot, so I'm trying to loosen it up, um, stretch it out a bit. I guess. Um, I wish that it. I, I wish the straps were at least adjustable or something, um, but there is this cute little um, detailing, little crisscross detailing. Um, would I buy another one? Yes, because I know they have different varieties, but I happen just to love a basic um, plain sports bra. And I like the v-neck, soft v-neck type of shape. And I don't see a lot of sports bras with it. Normally it's just like a U. I like a little V action. Um, I just feel like it suits my body type a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other colors. So here is the... Can I like figure this out? I'm like hardcore with this. 
Here is the burnt um, orange color. It is super cute on my skin tone. Um, I love this color. It's just probably one of my favorite colors. Um, same fit, same exact thing. I'm not going to try on all of them because um, that'd be a waste of time to try on all of them when they're the same thing, just different colors. Um, here is just a black one. I got excited about a black one um, because it's, I don't know why it's so hard to find plain black sports bras, but they are. There are. Very much, um, it said low support on the thing and I can see why it's low support. I don't like a large or an extra large or up. It probably will fit a lot more tighter on you. This part is kind of stretchy. This part is not stretchy. So this part, um, this is a medium. This is, I mean, I wear a medium. This is kind of tight on me too. Um, I feel like, I just feel like it's kind of tight on me. Um, it's not to say I won't wear I probably will wear because I kind of like the snuggish fit, but I do wish the straps were adjustable. Um, that's the only thing that I just, like I said, I wish the straps were adjustable. Um, but let's do another turnaround. It's cute. It's simple. It's a basic. Let's go put on the test with sweat and, um, you know, all those yuckiness. Well, it's not really yucky. Anyways, we're going to go put it under, under the test of cardio and abs. Um, I'm just going to pair it with a pair of Nike spandex or Nike pro shorts and a pump cover. And then that'll be it. Um, yeah, we're going to do test it under cardio and abs today. I have something already lined up, so I will share that with you guys. I, there will be a few clips. I don't know why I feel the need to keep talking and play with my face. Um, there may be a few clips of the workout, um, but I'm really going to mainly post it on my Instagram. So you can go ahead and check out my Instagram if you want to see the full routine. Um, and um, yeah, I said, I don't know if I said in the beginning, but if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Um, go ahead and comment under my most recent post um, a picture of a running girl emoji. Any of them. Any running girl emoji. Period. Um, just to let me know that you came from this video to my page. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the full routine will be on my Instagram. But just starting off, I did a warm-up of five minutes at incline 10. <coughs> my throat, sorry. Playing around with speeds two and three and going into another interval of five minutes at incline 10 at speed three. I played around walking on my tiptoes and uh, deliberately putting a lot of weight on my heels just to activate those calf muscles. Um, the next ex exercise I'm showing right here is bicycles. They're probably my favorite core exercise. Um, you can never go wrong with um, bicycles. Um, like previously previously stated, if you want to see the entire routine, it's on my Instagram. Go check it out. Um, I really have nothing majorly to complain about this bra. Just the straps are too tight and digging in my neck, but that's not something that will really bother me. I thought the pattern was cute, the color was cute, the quality was nice and thick. I really don't have anything majorly to complain that about. That concludes our video for today. Um, the bra held up during the workout. I it wasn't flopping out. It wasn't too loose. Um. I would wear them again. The only negative thing I have to say about the bra is that I wish the straps were adjustable because I found myself adjusting um, the straps a lot because they were just kind of digging into my neck. Um, when it comes to, now it did, like I said at the beginning, it did say lo, a label low support, um, but I um, felt like I had good support. I didn't think my girls were gonna pop out at any time. Um, now, like I said at the beginning, if you have larger boobs than me, um, I'm not sure the, um, how comfortably they would fit on you because I'm wearing a medium and my boobs aren't that big and the straps are already digging into me. So I can only imagine if you wear like an large to extra large in sports bras, how they would fit. But I mean, tr if you want to try it out, go ahead and try it out and let me know if it actually works for you. Um, now I know they have different sports bras on their websites. I know they have a whole bunch of different active wear. Um, and if you'd like me to try out some more tops and bottoms from them, let me know in the comments or really, or any other brands you want me to try out and review. Let me know in the comments. I will certainly try to accomplish that because I want this channel to be filled not only with workout tutorials and workout, um, inspo material, but I want it to be real, really hashtag relatable. And, um, uh, if you want me to review your favorite or um, widely talked, um, widely talked about, uh, uh, like workout brands, please comment them down below and I will do my best 
to try and review them. So thanks for tuning in for this um, video. Um, would I wear this bra again? Yes. Um, can you get over the, the strap like digging into your jugular? Yes. It's not like big whoop de doo It's just a little uncomfortable. Um, and, but if something like that really sends you over the edge, then I definitely don't recommend it. Um, but it's something that I can just get over. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling on. Thanks for tuning in this video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And go comment um, a running girl emoji on my most recent Instagram post. And um, just let me know that you came from the video. Um, Alright. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.